of the inspiredoffice.com. I'm a professional organizer. I help people mostly with offices, paper, going digital, and workflow solutions. However, when I am at home organizing, most of my time isn't spent on those things. It's on becoming a minimalist. This is a hot buzzword these days. Um, I don't know that I've really reached minimalism nirvana yet. I certainly have not. It's a work in progress but it's that work in progress that I want to share with you because it's one thing to see those pretty pictures in magazines of these near empty homes with just a beautiful couch and a beautiful vase and that's it. It's another thing to admit that, you know, striving towards minimalism is a lot of hard work. It's a lot of decisions. It's, it's letting go of things that are near and dear to you because they're not necessarily the best of. You can focus on getting rid of things that you love and have cared for for so many years, or you can focus on really shedding a light on the things in your life that you love the most. I tend to do both, but when you're really in the trenches trying to fill a recycling or donations bag, I get it. It can be tough. Even though I'm an organizer, not every decision comes to me easily, especially for the older things that I've had for many, many years. So this is part of a series where one at a time I'm sharing with you the things that I am putting into my donations bag in hopes of inspiring you to do the same with the tough decisions in your home, your office, your life. Something I am ready to let go of today is what I think is a beautiful shirt. You may not. Other people in my life certainly don't think it's beautiful. But I've had this shirt, I think, since, since high school... Yeah, about high school when I was sort of experimenting with, um, you know, dressing, dressing like a crazy hippie. It's actually really beautiful and I only wore it a couple of times. However, even in high school, I think I paid good money to have it tailored because it was like an XXXXL and now maybe it's like an XL. But it has great sentimental value because this was part of a very creative project that I did. Um, one year as a gift for my best friend, I took this in to a print shop and I made color copies of this fabric. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, I, I believe it's a West African batik. And with the paper, I did this decoupage project on this small set of Ikea drawers for her that she still has to this day in her home in New York. But the real benefit to the shirt is having that box that's you know really sentimental gift for her that she's still loving and using this shirt serves me no purpose hanging in my closet I will never ever wear it again and you know the fact that I've stared at it in my closet probably since the late 90s um, is, is giving it enough attention sometimes it's okay to you know give things airtime for a few years but to, to give something that much airtime in your space, your home, your closet for 10 plus years is a sign that you should let it go. I still take it out and I love this fabric and it sort of pains me to let go of it. I'm even tempted to make a color copy of this fabric before I, I let it go, uh, but I won't. I'll take a picture of it. I'm going to take a picture of this fabric, take a picture of this shirt and ever note it, but I don't need this shirt in my life anymore. This is a very hard decision. I've got really fun memories attached to it. It's just this, a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric that I have not ever seen since. I've already done some creative things with it. But I think those days are over and it's time to put this in the donations bag for somebody else who will either wear it or do something really fun with it. It doesn't make it any easier. But surely there are things at home that you know you don't use, you don't love anymore that you can let go of because I am getting rid of this gorgeous batik shirt. And if that's the case, please tell me in the comments. I want to know what you guys are getting rid of because I shared with you the story of this gorgeous shirt of mine that I'm getting rid of. Um, I just really hope that this video helps you to have one fewer thing in your life. And so you can really shine a spotlight on the things in your life that, that matter. Going minimal hurts sometimes. It hurts to put this in the recycling bag, but 
What I want more than this shirt is to have a beautiful, minimal, clean home that is empty except for the things that are nearest and dearest to my heart. So I guess at the end of the day, as much as I love this, it is not one of my favorite things anymore. So please share in the comments what you are getting rid of. Please visit theinspiredoffice.com for my blog where I have all sorts of information on going minimal and organizing, a lot of information on office organizing in there as well. I work face-to-face -face in person with clients here in the DC area, as well as travel nationally and work with people virtually. You can learn more about that on my site. And if you found this video to be helpful, know that it is part of a series. There are other videos like it on this channel. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for stopping by. Good riddance to the things that you no longer need. Have a great day.